hi guys welcome back to the channel so i hope you can see me i think i've got like a glow behind my head so i hope it's clear enough um so welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing a favorites what we may yeah so april may favorites i've not done one of these since january time has just flown by i can't believe we're sort of nearly summertime so i'm just going to be showing you a few bits of things that i've been loving the last couple of weeks um and even a few bits that i've just purchased um and a couple of things i've not even used yet so if that's your kind of thing and you're new here then stick around hit the subscribe button really do appreciate it if you join the channel um yeah so if you haven't been here before my name is lucy i do videos so i do a lot of shopping hauls recipes um bit of activism um, and product reviews so if that's your kind of thing then I would love you to subscribe and um, so let's get into the video so I've got a few bits here and then I've got a few bits beside me um, so where shall I start I'll start with some um, foodie bits so this is a burger so it's called better naked evolution burger i hope you can see that so i think rich got these in out pasta but yeah i've never seen them before um i don't think they're particularly new it's just say deliciously plant-based all the taste and beefiness without the meat your burger has just evolved so i think he picked these up made them just fried them with a tiny bit of oil in the pan and if you like or miss meat and you're looking for a meaty burger because I think I mean I'm not fussy I like any vegan burgers all sorts even bean burgers just love them so I'm not really fussy when it comes to that but these if you're looking for a meaty burger these are very firm so they don't fall apart um, and they're just quite thick they've just got that meaty flavor so if you're missing that definitely pick those up so obviously I don't think they're exclusive to Asda but they're worth a try yes so we tried those and we really like those if you haven't tried these then you need to get some they are the bougie bougie the award-winning vegan selection chocolates <clears throat> you can get these online so you can get these in i think get them on amazon but i've seen them in asda i think obviously they're all gone um but let me just show you the back I think they're about eight pounds but they're really nice just to treat yourself or just as a little treat for someone else um so you've got almond salted caramel you've got hazelnut crunch you've got rhubarb and vanilla fall stem ginger and around midnight espresso um and they're really really nice um how many did you get 16 multi-award winning chocolate truffles that bring smile to chocolate lovers everywhere. Exquisite taste adventures created from simple, carefully chosen organic ingredients. Welcome to the wonderful world of Bougie, Bougie. Highly recommend those. So we ate these ages ago. I just like the box, I don't like to chuck it. <laughs> so that is our next item. Then, I've not used these, but I thought I would show you. So. I'm always buying spices and they don't last two minutes, especially when I'm making like a, a chilli or a curry. I literally don't follow a recipe, I just do it to taste. So I'm always using things like cumin and um, curry powder. And the little ones I buy um, in Audi, so they're quite cheap, but they're tiny and they're like 50p maybe, 60p. If you buy them in other supermarkets, they can be like a pound or over a pound. So I was really surprised to find these in, now always getting mixed up, B&M and Home Bargains. I'm trying to think of the one next to Audi near me, Home Bargains. I saw these big bags of um, spices. So this is a 300 gram bag and it was 150 and they had all different ones. So just says naturals, 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 coriander powder. Um, so I've got that one. And next time, not open them, but you know, spice is a spice. Next time I'll pick up some more. So for 150, got 300 grams. And then I also picked up a cumin powder. So I thought what I'll do is I'll cut, the, cut them open, buy some little jars, put them in and label them. 
um because my cupboards become a bit of a mess and then you open the door and all you can smell is like indian spices but yeah i just thought that was a really good bargain for 150 and again that's 300 grams so definitely worth checking out stuff in home bargains um been loving herbal teas at the moment i'm a big coffee drinker i love my coffee um i haven't always been a coffee drinker i used to drink tea years ago but i'd say the last at least 20 years i've drunk coffee um i'm not a coffee snob i normally just get the i used to go for the what was that one oh dow egberts i used to love that but now i just go for anyone that's sort of around the two pound mark um co-op do a good one audi do their own good one but I thought I would try and alternate it, especially for work, try and be a bit healthier. Um, so I've always liked peppermint tea. So I've got these in Aldi, and I can't remember the price. There's 40 bags in there. So they're just peppermint, soothing and refreshing, <clears throat> naturally free from caffeine. So I picked them up because they're always good, especially if you feel bloated or um, anything like that. Peppermint's really soothing on your stomach. So I've got those. And then I've got these, um, again, Audi, Diplomat Super Green Tea and Peppermint Detox with Selenium, um, our expert blend to help reset your mind and body. So what I do in the morning before I leave work, I'll have a coffee or two. When I get to work, I'll have one of these. Um, and then I'll just drink like, a big bottle of water. Um, and then I might in the afternoon, if I'm flagging a bit, have a coffee. But yeah, I thought I'd give those a go. I don't really like fruit teas. They always taste like really sugary to me. Um, going back to co-op, which we always love. So Rich picked this up today, um, thinking we needed corn mints, but I'd already bought some in Asda, I think, because I'd already bought the Lind and Cartney one. So it was, I think it was a 500 gram bag. It was normally three pound down to two, but we've tried this before and it's really, really delicious. The grow range is just cheap and cheerful and it does the trick. So I should probably, I think it can be, yeah, suitable for home freezing. So I'll probably just pop that in the freezer. And then we've had these and I've probably shown them before. Again, co-op, the grow range, they're burgers. And these are a good one. It says the quarter pounder, juicy and tender with soya mints, onions, um, what does that say? Beets and herbs. Um, yeah, pretty good on like the, the fat and the sugar content. When you look at the traffic light thing. So yeah, those are the Grow Quarter Pounders. Um, oh, it's a lovely day today. It's really sunny, what's the time? It is half past five. So we're having cottage pie for dinner with some carrots, gravy, and maybe some runner beans. So I've just got the potatoes on for that. Um, Right, this came in the post today from Amazon because I bought one ages ago and it's a mascara and I'd run out and I desperately needed it. So it's the Barry M. I don't know if you can see that. Is that clear? Yeah, it's just the Barry M specially designed brush to lengthen and define lashes. And if you can see, you probably can't see, but just there it says vegan and cruelty free. And the last one I bought was months and months ago. And I always get my money's worth out of these. When there's nothing left, I'm like trying to get a little bit more out. So I thought I'd treat myself to that. It was about five, five pound. I'll leave the link below. Um, if there's anything you can buy on Amazon, I will leave the links below. So that is my mascara. Um, peanut butter. We go through peanut butter in this house like crazy. Smooth, crunchy, doesn't last long. There's always a couple of tubs on the go. Um, but a lot of people I'd seen, um, they get the big tubs from Audi and it's the, like the runny um, peanut butter that you can like, I don't know, you can put it on pancakes, you can put it on porridge. Never seen it in my one until the other day. So I've got this big tub. So it's one kg tub and I think it was 3.99. That just says smooth peanut butter, no added palm oil, which is good. Um, and the oil will come to the top, it's all natural, there's no sort of added, and it's really runny, so you can just spoon that on. Um, I'll probably put it on porridge and stuff, porridge with fruit. 
just to get your protein. So yeah, I'm really glad I picked that up. Oh, I can hear the kids outside, they're playing. Okay, what next? Because the weather's getting nicer, I needed to get some sun cream. And I asked a question on one of the groups on Facebook and there was loads of suggestions. And I know that Superdrug is pretty good for vegan, cruelty-free products. Happened to be in boots, I thought I'd look at their sun creams. Pick this one up, which is standard, what I would have normally got anyway. So it's the Factor 50 Boots Sultan Kids. And when I turned it around, I was so surprised to see that it's got vegan and cruelty free. But then what I did do, I put it back, had a little walk around, and then when I went back, I picked one up. And on the way to the till, I looked, and it didn't say vegan and cruelty free. Um, so when I went, I went back to the shelf and I looked, and the same product, some of them said vegan and cruelty free, and some of them didn't. So whether it was a new batch. You okay, Oliver? Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I was just um, going. Come say hello. Hi. <laughs> what have you been doing? I've just been going on my bike. Yeah, you're not hot. You've no. got a vest on and a t shirt. Why don't you take a layer off? No. No, he's been playing out with his friends up and down, haven't you? Yeah. What do you do at the end of the road? What do you do? You go and see the. Well, um, the cats. There's some cats in the stables at the end, isn't it? In the yard. And you go and play on the hay and see the cats. Would you do me a huge favour, Ollie, so I can carry on the video? Just shut that door for me. Yeah. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Ollie. Um, right. The next item is this. I have not tried it before, so it's the Cracked. Can you see that? The Cracked, and it's a new recipe. It says the No Egg Egg. So it's in a tub, so it's obviously liquid. Um, it says create plant-based amazing scrambled great pancakes golden yorkshires and much more so you can use it for cooking um and it says i think you can go online and there's recipes and stuff but if you want to make scramble so i normally use tofu to make scramble but if you want to use this um heat a little oil in a pan on a medium heat add in cracked and stir immediately continue stirring for three to five minutes until firm um yeah and then yeah so i tried it made i made some fairy cakes for the children and i just um put like the, the equivalent of two eggs in so i just poured it in i just roughly guessed and they came out nice they were really nice i made some chocolate ones and just some vanilla ones so i'm going to use this i might do a proper review on it and try to make i mean you can make things like um obviously pancakes you can probably make like a an omelette um yeah so i'll try it for scramble um and this tub is equivalent to eight eggs and i think you can get in most of the supermarkets it just says vegan it says yeah you read that right made not laid there's no egg in this bottle and that may just change your life well at least in the kitchen i think it's great these vegan products they i love the pa i love the packaging of these products i love the labels um and it's just like activism um yeah say it as it is so i'm interested to try some recipes with that so if you're interested in me showing you how scrambled egg would come out then let me know in the comments below and i shall definitely do that but yeah really um excited to see what other things i can make and i'm wondering how it's going to be for Yorkshire's because I've not managed to not managed to do Yorkshire's yet. I can get the taste and they taste lovely. They just don't rise or they're more like little um, little pies, you know. But apparently, what you can do with vegan Yorkshire's, you you cook them and when they start to rise, you open the oven, which obviously you wouldn't normally do when you're baking, and then pop a spoon in the middle to press it down so you get like that dip in them. I shall let you know how I get on with that. So that is the cracked no egg egg. Okay, this I haven't used, but I'm so excited to get it. I've wanted it for ages. And again, I got it off Amazon. I can't remember the price. I think it was, it was under 10 pound, but it's a one kg bag and it's vital wheat gluten. And this is what you use to make seitan so um vegan meat alternative so i've seen an amazing recipe and i want to try and make 
um, like a beef roll. Not, yeah, you know, like a, a sort of like a joint of beef. Um, so with this, you just add obviously your water and all your spices. Um, and again, if you're interested in me doing a video, I'm not sure if I'll do a video of me doing it. And then if it all goes wrong, you see it goes wrong and then I'll try again or whether I should just perfect it and then do a video of it. But yeah, I want to make the, the beef roll and then you can make a few of them. You can freeze them and then you can um, shave them with like a, a potato peeler um, to make like donna kebab meat, which I actually love. I always buy like from the supermarkets and stuff. So vital wheat gluten. So it's on Amazon. It's from yourhealthstore.co.uk. I'm so excited to have that. I thought I'd be able to do it at the weekend and there's always something you need. I think I need... What's the other thing? Miso, miso paste? Yeah. Um, and you've got stuff like spices and marmite and I've got all them bits. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try that. Let me know if you would like to see. Uh, da, da, da. Next thing. I love this. I'm easily pleased. I bought this in New Look um, just after Christmas, I think. And it's a cup. And I love giraffes. Absolutely. Look at that. <laughs> and it was two pound in the sale. I was so excited. And I just thought that'd be so nice to either take to work as my cup, which I actually think is too nice to take to work, or just keep it for my first coffee in the morning. Um, I'm not really a cup person, but I saw this and just thought I've got to have it. Two pound in the sound. I wish I'd picked up a few more now. Um, and I've put it on the windowsill in the kitchen and I've had it obviously since after Christmas. I've not used it yet because I think it's too nice to use. So I love it. Absolutely love giraffes. Does anyone else love giraffes? Love them. It's always been like my sort of wild animal that I like. Um, and more recently, I've been loving cows and I never realised how cute sheep were. They are so cheeky and they've got such amazing characters and I just love them. So that is my giraffe cup. So they might still have them in new look. If you want to look at that all different ones not just animals but just really cute ones so yeah suitable for microwave not suitable for dishwashers well that's good because i haven't got a dishwasher at the moment so that is that now going back to cooking baking um i used to do loads of baking i used to make cakes victoria sponges um and i thought it was okay um but since we've gone vegan obviously we haven't got the eggs it's a bit bit trickier and I can never find the stuff I need never find sprinkles never find food coloring um I think there's a few things you can get on Amazon but I found this and that not all their stuff's vegan so I don't even know how you say that Dr. Oitka 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 um so they are the uniform un uniform unicorn confetti sprinkles and I'll turn it around, but you probably can't see it, but just there, it says suitable for vegans. You really have to check these because most, most ones, even the supermarket owned ones are just vegetarian. So happy to get those. I think they were like a, maybe one, 170, 150. But yeah, I'm excited to have those, make the kids cakes. Uh, right, let's move my cup. So the next thing I've got always foody things with me so it's the patax lime pickle and i don't know where i got it i think it might have been in asda i don't think they would have done it in aldi i'm not too sure but very clearly marked vegan um lime pickle tangy and zesty and it's medium as in spice wise but i'm the only one that likes it um never really had lime pickle before but when i make a curry it's really nice to have that little um, different flavour on the side and it's nice on poppadoms so I don't know how much it was I would imagine it was about one pound something so yeah lime pickle really loving um, my neighbour bought me this candle which as you can see I can't even light it anymore but I hate to chuck them um, and this was from Aldi and I think it's about three ninety nine, and I was really, when she gave it to me, I was thinking, oh, it might not be cruelty free, but it has, it's got the leaping bunny 
on the bottom and I just like it it's a really nice jar a really nice lid um, and what I do is I don't chuck these I buy um, tea lights and then I'll just put, light a tea light and pop it in there and it still looks like you've got the candle going so yeah this is lime basil and mandarin and I think then you know looks quite smart doesn't it yes so I really like that I hope you can see it. it's a bit bright in here so yeah I'm definitely gonna oh it smells so fresh definitely gonna pick another one of those up when I go to Aldi and then the last thing is vitamins now I buy vitamins and then I run out and then we don't have them for ages so what I done was I went on Holland and Barrett I always do it when it's either they don't do it that often when you buy one and you get another one for a penny or you buy one and you get another one free so what i done was i got the children and they were buy one get one free online and if you spend over a certain amount it's free delivery so the children have got clearly marked vegan down here they are the multi vits daily health eight vitamins for health and vitality and their pineapple they smell nice the kids said they taste nice um the other ones we had from i think it was the vegan society they were like uh chalky ones but they left a horrible sort of aftertaste but they like these gummy ones so they got those and they got again clearly marked suitable for vegans um iron with added vitamin c healthy blood cells and energy support so and these are strawberry flavor so i just thought I would get those for the children and then what I've actually done is I've got those and then I've got um, because they would buy one get one free I've got some more in the cupboard and I've taken out a subscription on them so they vary but it's usually every few months they'll send you a new one um, you get it slightly cheaper and then you get free delivery so hopefully we'll never run out so those are the children's then for me and Rich we've got um, B12 time release um, contributes to normal energy yield in metabolism and reduction of tiredness and fatigue and been feeling absolutely exhausted lately um, like we eat really well um, but yeah I just thought I would get those we had them ages ago and run out so they are the um, the th I'll let you get 500 but these are the thousand I can't even see what that is it's like a little it's not a U it looks like a little wire back to front and a G um, so yeah that's the B12s then we got these ones iron with vitamin C Can you see those uh, and it just says supports the reduction of tiredness and fatigue supports the normal formation of red blood cells and hemoglobin and there's a hundred in there easy to swallow and they're tiny so and then we also got the last ones is selenium so there's 120 in here clearly marked vegan and it says help maintain normal hair god my glasses on helps maintain normal hair and nails and supports the normal function of the immune system so i'm going to take those and see if we feel any better so that is i think that's all the things i've got to show you i hope you enjoyed this um as i said before i'll try and do them every month but Sometimes there's not really anything to show. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you're having a lovely weekend and the sun is shining where you are. Take care, guys. Bye.